buffet. Wow, that's what? awesome. Yeah, see? I'm sorry, front row. Oh, wow. Probably most of you guys are probably like, is this really that Instagram dude? That <laughs> plays all this mellow, no distorted, or whatever. I know. Welcome. Surprise. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been fun. By the way, this is uh, the beginning of the tour, man. This is the very <laughs> And this is actually my first time in Australia. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I'm definitely in shock, man. I was not expecting that amount of people here, seriously. Because, <laughs> you know, when I did this, uh, you know, when I started promoting that, you know, the company behind me were just like, hey, we should have, like, a website, you know, and selling tickets and blah, blah, blah. And, um, okay, when I request for the numbers, Australia was probably, like, the wackest one. I was like, oh, really, dude? Like, seriously. And then I was like, I'm not saying that I'm, I was not creating expectations, but it was just like, ah, uh, okay. But then uh, I was like waiting backstage, I was like, whoa, why is it taking so long? And then and Joshua was like, hey, actually, we're just taking that long because there are still people outside. And I was like, oh yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for the surprise, you know? Two surprises at the same time. <laughs> thank you so much. Right. Okay, uh, I have a question before I actually I'm just trying to create an excuse because my my arms are hurting right now. Uh, that's a good thing because it, probably most of you know me from playing for an artist, Jesse J or Tori Kelly or Bruno Mars. And the the good thing is like when you're just doing your own thing, you can play whatever, you know. And I love that. Yeah. And I two weeks ago I was just doing a show with uh, Jesse J in, in South America. We played in Rock and Rio. It was awesome. But and I totally forgot, man, about like how is to play with a uh, with an artist, you know. And I and by the way, that was my first time playing in Brazil with an artist, and I was just like, yeah, that's, that feels like home, you know, I'm playing again with Jesse J, that's cool, like, everybody, you know, super welcoming me, and I was like, from the first song, I was just like, I went all the way to the front of the stage, and I was just like, yeah, come on, my people, that's <laughs> And then at the end of the concert, the musical director was like, hey, dude, uh, yeah, you know, I know you are all excited, you know, it's your first time playing in Brazil, your family is here, but... Remember, you know, it's Jesse's show. <laughs> Sorry, man. And they were like, yo, their niche was great, man. Now, you know, don't get me wrong, but it's just Jesse's show. I was like, oh, yeah. Dang it. And I got actually disappointed because, by the way, we played three shows. The first show was in Paulo, and the second show was Rock and Rio. And I was just like, so pumped to play in freaking Rock and Rio. But after the, that, you know, after what the musical director told me, I was just like, no. I'm just gonna, you know, be a, in the freaking back and just play. <laughs> it was great. It was great. And now I'm here, dude, playing my own thing. So guys, feel free, you know, to you know, jump and march. <laughs> I don't care. No parts needed. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, uh, okay, let's start. Let's get you know the vibe a little bit more towards the Instagram thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to play. That's actually the hardest part, man. When I'm just playing by myself, because all the mistakes you guys can hear. You know. So. <laughs> but anyway, who plays guitar here? Actually. <laughs> Freaking instrumental. I know. Uh, yeah, cool. This is for the hardcore fans. The song's called Change. Alright. Let's see how it goes. Thank you. 